What would you do if you were the last person on earth but household utilities, water, electricity, internet, still work properly? Very little would actually change. Except not having to go to work. A bit more breaking and entering for food and a lot more public nudity. Travel around staying in mansions and cool places. Use the internet to learn how to fly a plane. So I can travel further. But I'd probably crash on my first try. So that would end things pretty quickly. Probably check out places that were previously off limits. Fort Knox. Area 51. See if there's really a hole of records underneath the Sphinx. Seed bank. Etc. Edit. I did mean the Sval but global seed vault. Not bank. Browse Reddit until there's no more content to read. I've always wanted to live in a big grocery store. Just walk around and eat whatever I want. The dream. Comment last in every YouTube video. That would take some time man. Build a bot that does it for me. I would commence to wonder if all those utilities, water, electricity, internet, etc. worked on their own. Why did I pay all those monthly bills? Get a boat and a car. I don't trust myself to fly a plane and see the sights of the world in peace. Probably search for another living person the rest of my life. Isn't that what we all do with our lives anyway? Try to find someone you can tolerate, who also tolerates you, and also happens to have correctly oriented organs compared to yours? Damn. Deep. Find a sweet house on the coast reasonably close to a grocery store and gardening store. Lowe's slash Home Depot as well. Maybe a gun store as well. Though that could be a once in a while trip. Love to find a 3080 graphics card. But those would somehow still be scarce. I see a lot of people saying they'd have a wank. Would you not at least go get the most realistic sex doll you could find? I'll steal my neighbor's food and watch YouTube. You can do that now too. Head to the Pentagon, NASA, and Area 51, and get a ride that can go find the rest of you for leaving me. Why? They said last person. Not last creature. Aliens aren't human. I'd find the greys in Area 51, raid a dispensary, and have a fucking baller time with the AI Mayos. Are you saying aliens errant people? Waste my time to create another human. To be fair, depending on your gender you could create one with preserved material from the opposite sex. Alternatively, there would absolutely be laboratories already set up that you could find to try doing it yourself if you are of the male gender yourself. I think it would be easier to create it for a woman. You unfreeze some sperm and you impregnate yourself. There is the risk of pregnancy and child labor, but it's less challenging to handle this alone naturally than to sustain a baby without a woman. To bear it which is impossible as of now, if I were to guess. Go steal the keys to the best car I could. Drive to Bev Hill slash Hollywood Hills. And go live in my dream house. Break into houses and find drugs in spare time. Hunt for food. Animals would be in town shortly thereafter. Subsist on found drugs and meat. Live about 5 years like this. Before dying to something stupid i.e. drug induced heart attack. Car accident driving 300 miles per hour. ETC and not be able to do surgery on myself. Be satisfied. I'd love to go into a store and break everything like that scene in Zombie Land. Also move into Buckingham Palace. If the Eurista is still running it move into Versailles. You mean. The palace. Or just the city? The city is lovely. The palace is more of a museum than a place you could actually live. Food would be an issue. Especially in the long run. Part of me says I'd try to work on a monument or something that proved humans once were here because most of our structures will be gone in a few centuries. Good point about food. So move to a place where food grows naturally year round and has fresh water. I mean it says that the electricity is always working. So just set up a shit ton of walk-in freezers and fill them with more food than you can ever eat. First I would move more than 100 miles away from nuclear reactors which means I'm going to a small coastal city in Mexico where the Pacific has no memory and I would probably fish, maybe garden some fruits or whatever and be able to relax. I would also probably end up putting a face on a group of soccer balls and talking to them all the time. Finally get enough sleep. There's a wrecking ball crane not too far away already in city center. 
impregnate myself with sperm form a sperm bank. Problem solved. My kids can grow up, and the women at least can do the same. Assuming the electricity really keeps genetic variation eventually, and I'll have someone to talk to in about 6 years. Good luck giving birth to many, many children to have enough diversity, which will also take loads of time, because the gestation period is 9 months. Well did the sperm bank provide enough diversity, and depending on where you live, there might be more than one to find. That is also to say, one would have to give birth to at least one girl. Can you imagine, being the last person on earth, trying to bring back the human race, and only pop out a bunch of boys? HMM. Food would be an issue. So find a good farm slash commune and some of the long lasting prepper companies, and make sure I have access to the basics. Then it's a decision of what the point is anymore. Beyond survival I mean. I don't give up hope. So I guess try to learn. And design a interplanetary SOS. It's not likely but. It's something to do. When not working on that. Read. Write. Explore some. Take breaks where I travel a bit maybe. Not sure I'll need to but. It's hard to predict what I'll need. This is all assuming there's not like 7 billion bodies rotting and causing massive disease and killing me almost immediately. Drive a train. Create a base of operations where I will be protected and can grow my own food. Utilities still working will be great, but you'd still be fucked in other areas. Fresh food in the shops will go bad. Eventually you'll only have canned slash frozen goods left and even those will have a shelf life. Animals will come back into the cities, when there are no people or cars. Covered lockdowns have shown this already, so you'd need protection from the carnivores. Transportation will eventually be an issue. Fuel expires. I suppose you could get an all-electric vehicle, and recharge that whenever. But you'll also need to know car maintenance, or just get a new car, whenever assuming there is ample supply, and other components like working car batteries will eventually be harder to get. Best place to set up would probably be something like a football stadium. Hello Last of Us 2. Plenty of land for growing food and farming animals. Completely. Enclosed and with rooms to live in. If I could get all the food sorted out and can get over the fact that everyone I love is gone. I'd probably set up a routine of farming and video games. Take a long hot bath with a toaster. I'd go to mission control and talk with the astronauts on the ice who are probably freaking out about Resoply missions and everyone on earth being dead. Edit. Astronauts are actually extremely difficult to freak out as they need to remain calm even in extremely taxing circumstances. But I suppose they could be very concerned which is the normal person equivalent of freaking out. Edit 2. Wow guys. I'm flawed. 7 years and 4 months and I finally made a popular comment. Thank you. 3. Edit 3. Thank you for silver kind stranger. Exclamation mark. Edit 4. Thank you for gold or jixxa. I'd slash you slash tag directly, but I think the automat would delete my comment. Day and probably week equals made. I'd have to find a pack of dogs to accept me, and then live amongst them I guess. Randomly go into other people's houses to see the layout, and try and find hidden things too no doubt. Probably forget and try to play an online game. Be confused as to why all the servers are empty and blame my internet, and spend the next few hours and plugging it, and plugging it back in. I mean, if I'm all alone, what's the purpose in staying around? People here talking about wanking whenever they want, and taking whatever they want from any stores they choose. But what about when all that stuff gets boring? The internet can only keep you so entertained without people to make it entertaining. Someday, you'll have seen all you care to see, and with nobody else around, to have more fun experiences with, you've already been the last person alive. So what else would there be? That'd be the point in probably trying to go on for a while, experiencing this stuff for the last slash first time. That way you can get to enjoy stuff, then chose a graceful way and time to go out. I already know I'd be on a clock. So it'd be more about experiencing stuff, and getting to enjoy things, before picking the perfect spot. Same here. Im shooting all the things. Drove the coolest cars. Blow shit up. Save animals and off myself when all of that gets too depressing. I reckon I can get at least a year out of that. Rush to download as much media as I could connect to for, as long as possible. 
Find local Best Buy. Raid hard disk section for as many of their largest stock disks as I can find. Also take home surveillance camera system and 5 camera equipped quad rotor drones. Download latest stable release of Freeness. Redat. Ubuntu. Arch. Macus. Windows. Download Plex. Download Wikipedia hard copy. Download Python. And a complete hard copy of the pip repository. Download Nod Edges. Angular React and Vue. And if possible a complete repository of other popular JS libraries. Also get C slash plus plus libraries. Build NASRAC. RAID 6 configured in a chassis that has as many hot swap slots as I can find. Using Google Maps survey local high price real estate areas for homes equipped with solar arrays. Ideally the newest present, but with preference for them on homes that are resilient to weather damage. Ideally not in an especially precarious flooding or tornado risk position. After flagging some homes for in-person investigation go review them in person. Try to find specifically a house with a battery system already installed. Move into this house when identified. Locate and retrieve multiple electric vehicles, an RV, and a larger work vehicle. Figure out how to long term stabilize local gas station fuel tanks, and if feasible do so to as many as possible. Collect and freeze food at home to last, as long as possible without overburdening. Battery system. Research and understand. 1. Medical care. Initially focusing on injury treatment and eventually getting to dental. Cross fingers there's little or no need for this. 2. Basic electrician training. Including my new solar system. 3. Per slash u slash hurricane ks excellent point I should also learn c and c plus plus to prep for building devices to automate food production etc. Since those languages are generally the best fit for those applications, especially when you need them to be stable and fit on a small compute footprint, then I can start learning some stuff for fun. Learn to sail. Practice cooking and maybe explore wine. Enjoy my home streaming setup and explore filmography. Read. Find all the border collars I cut a farm and start rounding up animals. When I have a van or lorry I would find the nearest veterinary clinic and transfer to farm ye and look for some parrots so I had someone to talk to x. Dude the parrots is such a good idea. Get loads of spray paint and paint whole blocks of the street all one color. So like one block with everything in it is matte black. Then another is bright glossy red. Etc. Die of boredom. Because even though the internet is still working, I can't get my dopamine hit from Reddit and Tumblr updates anymore. Also, cry a lot because a game I'm hyped for will never get released. Go into the nearest empty household and finally get off the streets after 6 years of homelessness. Take a shower. Bathe my dog. Cook us both something to eat. Wash my clothes slash dog's collar and leash. Then lay in bed with my dog. Exclamation mark. Close bracket. Better yet if this happened on Thanksgiving. We'd enjoy our first Thanksgiving dinner together. I'm sorry. Do you have PayPal? I don't have much, but want to help. I think I would visit as many libraries as I could and put as many books in plastic garbage bags for preservation. Just put them in bags. Tie them shut then leave them where they are and hope water doesn't get into it over time. But then after a while of that, I would think there is so much to preserve that if someone isn't already doing that today, then I can't make much of a difference. I mean technically I'm the last person, so I would teach monkeys to play video games and or rebuild humanity and place myself as a god. Depends on how long left I have to live. Go to the Winchester, have a pint, and wait for all of this to blow over. I fantasize about this, empty gym all the time me myself and spotify or silence i love silence ugh amazing long deep sleeps road trip for years sign me up train chimps to start fire and ensure the future of humanity frantically read how to safely deactivate nuclear power plants so there isn't a meltdown improbably fucked but being the last person on earth it's just more of the same a as an fyi because i didn't read too much into it I do believe that majority of reactors could probably be taken offline thanks to a single button. Difficulty of getting to those buttons probably varies a bunch. Not sure if it's a temporary off or a permanent off button though. 
most nuclear reactors auto shut down after enough time of stagnate energy usage. But other than that, they would be fully functional without human intervention for decades. I watched a documentary on what if humanity vanished. Don't remember where. Have some fun doing whatever. Then once I've had my fun. Kill myself. Because who wants to live the rest of their life not having another human being to talk to? I have a husband in a 4 year old. So I would start with a nice, long, uninterrupted shower and all the pampering I normally don't have time for. Then, I would move into a yarn shop for supplies and crochet all the projects I want to while binge watching Netflix or listening to audiobooks. Then I would probably break down because I have no one to share my finished projects with. If I'm being honest it'd probably rob a pharmacy and get the good drugs, then do random shit, movies, driving different cars, etc. Being the last person on earth is way too scary to do sober. I'd probably also hit up nice bakeries before the food went bad. Find and take in a bunch of dogs to ensure their survival and keep me company. First question, are all the corpses of the rest of the people still present? They they all die, or did they just disappear? Second question, if yes, are those corpses still animate? If no, did I just miss the rapture or something? Go back to bed. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos.